Here's the problem today. It's white to play, checkmate black in two moves. This was composed by Steven Daud. Uh, so go ahead, pause the video. There are too many minor pieces on the board at this point. So it's kind of confusing. So take yourself, give yourself a minute, try to figure out what's happening and try to find the key move that wins the game for white. So if you want, you can pause the video. I'll show you this uh, solution in about five seconds. Okay, the move is not at all easy. It's kind of tricky. It's not the obvious ones. It's not a forcing move. In fact, uh, white plays the move bishop to b6. Now, this is the key move and it takes uh, control of some very important factors in the position. First of all, it controls the a7 square. So, in the absence of this knight, the a7 square is still controlled. It protects the c5 square and it has some concrete threats. For example, if I just ignore it and some, you know, play something like bishop f1, now the idea is revealed. Now you have the threat of, I mean, the checkmate with knight to c7. And you can see what the bishop on b6 is doing. It is actually controlling the a7 and protecting the a5 knight, right? So that's what it's doing. So bishop b6 comes, up, comes uh, with a very concrete threat of knight c7. So that has to be stopped. The question is what happens if, you know, the king captures the knight? Then there is no knight c7 if there is no knight. Well, the problem is now we have another checkmate with bishop takes on c4. Again, you can see how beautifully this bishop holds the knight and the pawn and um, the rest is done. So it's easy. Bishop takes c4 is made. Let's go back. Instead of king takes on uh, b5, what happens if the bishop captures on b5? Now, can you find the checkmate? It's a very beautiful checkmate. It's kind of a smothered mate, but with the bishop. It's bishop to b7, checkmate. Excellent. Again, you can see the bishop on b6 anchoring, protecting both the knight and the pawn. All right, let's go back. I think that's all because the threat of knight c7 forces you to react here in a way you have to either capture the knight with the bishop or with the uh, you know other piece also you can play you know bishop takes on d5 can you figure out the win over here very simple knight c7 checkmate so that was all for this video hope you enjoyed this excellent and simple uh, cute problem by steven Dowd. thank you for watching until next time see you guys